You know what? I didn't write a single line of code until two years when I have joined as a manual tester. I was from a electronics and communication background. Now you understand. Still, I was able to write multiple custom frameworks now right i have basically worked on web mobile ui and even on the performance testing so in this video i'm going to discuss about how i hacked my brain to learn about the coding for automation so let's get started this video is super important if you're a fresher you want to jump to automation or if you're a manual tester thinking that okay yes let's move towards the automation right this video i will tell you like basically what are the three things that i have done specially which basically i was able to hack my brain to learn about the coding so you know Right. The first one is basically I generally call this a golden triangle, which is learn, do and teach, which exactly I'm doing with you guys. Right. See, guys, I know many of you already have a coding fear, right? Even I had, right? I was not able to write a simple for loop. I was so confused when I saw the triangle pattern, right? Star patterns and all. I was like, what the hell is going on? I mean, I cannot write a simple for loop. So then I got to know about this principle or you can say this is a golden triangle, which is learn do and teach. So what I was doing is I was just learning about the concepts. I was not doing the practice. Basically do part was missing. And the third important part, which you guys also also missing, which is that the teach you have to teach also, right? So what you have to do is that like how I basically I have used this is basically whatever I was learning. I started my YouTube channel where I was just teaching all the things related to it. Even it was a coding, even it was a automation, even it was a manual testing concepts, anything, right? I was continuously learning doing and teaching. This is one of the principle which has helped me, right? So I was teaching to my cousins, right? I have started teaching my cousins about the programming language, right? Where there was a couple of them. I was just teaching, for example, if basically I have learned the concept of variables and data types in Java, right? I was just teaching them, right? They were also part of uh, computer science, right? I was just helping them. This is where it was an amazing, amazing journey. I really liked it. So what I would recommend to all of you is that whatever that you guys are learning, please do this basically practice and teach teach to the people. You can write blog, you can create a video, you can basically add some value to anything. You can discuss with your friends also. For example, if they are in the same space, right? That's what you can do. Second important point, practice. Of course, uh, if you want to learn about the coding, of course you have to do practice, right? See, when I was learning the important concept, for example, for loop collection frameworks in Java and all, right? I said, okay, yes, I have seen this. This is hash map. This is hash table. Everything is great. But what about the practice? When I started doing the challenges on hacker rank, when I started doing the challenges on lead code, then actually I understood how actually I have to use this i have basically practiced on multiple multiple sites i have used lead code hacker rank even when i started implemented my automation framework right when i started using them then only i understood actually how practice actually works right don't do only learning 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 you have to do practice you have to discuss with your friends and all right third important point doing it multiple times that's what the super important thing so let me tell you a couple of resources right i have used educative.io which is, I will put the link in the description also, you can check it out. It's an amazing website to learn coding, especially, right? I have uh, basically learned Java there. Multiple examples are present there and I really, really loved it. I basically learned from educative.io. Then I basically learned this concept from Srinivas Dande sir in the JLC, where I think it, it, it's the time, I think on 2014 or 15-ish, where I have learned this concept. Again, I revised the same concept by using some Udemy courses, some blogs, and many, many more things. So multiple, times I have learned the coding. Trust me, multiple times I have learned about the concept of variable, data types, loops, uh, oops concept in Java, collection framework, multi-threading, multiple times I have learned it. When you learn for the first time, right? And you can do learn and doing. But what happens is uh, you will forget after some time. So what you have to do is continuously learning again. So add a revision time, which is super, super important for you guys. I would highly recommend you because see how I was able to grab the concept because I was continuously teaching to my students. You can basically, if you don't have any students, you can teach to your cousins. If you don't have anything, you can write a blog. Definitely it will work, right? So make sure you, whatever the coding challenges that you are doing, you can add to your GitHub profile, add to, to your resume. You can add to resume also, right? So this is what you need to do. Overall conclusion of this video that I wanted to give you is that you have to basically use this golden triangle, which is learn to teach, practice a lot, learn the concepts multiple times. See, one of my friend was saying, sir, I have basically watched the Anud Bhaiya videos of Java also, your videos of Java also. I have seen a couple of other videos, then actually I understood. It's totally fine, right? Because one teacher, sometimes you understand the concepts very well. They are teaching very well, but sometimes you are not able to grab it. You can take help from other teachers, right? You can watch the videos on 
on other platforms udemy even on youtube right free available right those things you can do it so few points i would like to give you which is more practice you will get a more confidence teach what you are learning share to the world whatever the project that you are doing do not forget that basically if you are forgetting you have to do practice practice is all, all important and always 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 follow the principle of learn do teach trust me to us all right i hope this video will be helpful for you if you are new please subscribe to the channel if you are old thanks a lot for joining in i hope this video helps and if you want more resources how i was able to learn the java let me know part 2 in the comment i'll definitely create a part 2 all right thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video bye